Hi, this is uh, Raheem Zulfikar Ali. I am the founder and chief spreadsheet officer of Excel Basement. Uh, today in this video, uh, we will learn how to create a bar bar chart with an average vertical line. So it's very easy in Power BI. But before that, I will show you that how difficult in Excel to create a bar chart with a with a vertical average line. So we will explore this in Microsoft Excel first very quickly, and then I will tell you that how we can create a bar chart with a vertical average line in Power BI. So let's get started. For example, if I don't know how to create a bar chart with a vertical line, so let's say we go to the doctor do Google and uh, we have to write some smart keywords to get our solution, our desired solution. So I just wrote add vertical average line to Excel chart. So it gives me a few links here and I opened the first link where this is from the extent office and I have also opened one more link from the Excel champs. So when I open that link, it uh, gives me what I just required a bar chart with a vertical average line. Okay. So there are few steps uh, to be implemented in Microsoft Excel. Simply you can go to, you can select the data, go, go to insert tab and click on bar chart. You will get the bar chart. But for the vertical average line, you have to do some uh, working. And if you are seeing in my video that there are some seven to eight steps you need to follow, you need to change the uh, data source, you need to apply the average function, then you need to play with a bit tricks and tips regarding to create a vertical line. And uh, after all those steps, you get your desired result, right? So definitely this is time consuming. This is, uh, you need to remember all these steps to create in uh, Excel, this, this kind of chart. I opened one more link. This is from Excel champs. Uh, again, he, in this blog, he explained that how we can add a vertical line into the chart. So again, we have some few steps to be performed before we can make our desired result. So there are a lot of efforts to be made in Microsoft Excel with some tips and tricks and functions utilities. Now I have an Excel file. I have just created a small database to just explain you that how it is done, but I will not show you the each and every step in Microsoft Excel because our purpose is to uh, have an idea and how to execute in Power BI. So I will go to Power BI and I will tell how it is created in Power BI. So if we have a data like products and amounts and uh, I have calculated this average with the help of average function and when I select this data go to insert tab and I click on the bar chart it gives me this look. Uh, now I need to follow all these steps which are mentioned here in the website I need to do some a bit of trick tip and tricks and then I can uh, successfully execute to make a vertical average line right so now in power bi how we can do is that uh, this is the simple blank screen when you open the power bi I will just get the data of that excel workbook into the power bi simply I have that workbook pp underscore db I will open this workbook and uh, I have the data uh, in a form of table. I will click on load button to get the data into the Power BI. And it's just loading the data and checking if they have some relationships or not. So we have the data now in the Power BI. Now on this graphical screen uh, canvas, we, we will create the bar chart and a vertical average line, okay? So here we have uh, in the fields pane, we have two fields that is products and amount. I will click or I will select these two fields. I will get the table here as you can see and I will now convert this table into the bar chart. So simply I will on the visualization pane, I will click on stack bar chart. Now I got the stack bar chart. One more issue here is that our products are not uh, uh, sorted alphabetically ascending or descending if you want to do that you will click on more options and here you can select the ascending or descending okay one more thing that when you are doing ascending or descending still they are not sorting out so what you can do is sort by the products not the amount currently we have the sorting this ascending and descending based on amount we will select the products and now we can 
do the ascending or descending now our products have been sorted from a to g and we have the visualization the main purpose was that to add the vertical line in this bar chart right so we will go to or we will click on this uh, analytical analytics icon click on that analytics icon and then here we have an option of constant line click on the constant line it will expand and then we will click on add button okay uh, we will put a value of the average so for the for our current data our average is approximately 30 and now you can see here we got the line of a vertical average right we can change the color as well we can do the transparency increase or decrease all right so now you can see that there here uh, we have the bar chart and including our average line vertically implemented so you have different styles here and different positions so this is how within a minute within within a click of few seconds you got your desired chart but in microsoft excel definitely you need to follow all these steps from the very start and then you will got uh, you will get the desired your outcome like like this way so in power bi it's very simple uh, a matter of clicks it's it's up to you that how much have you explored that this applications so this is very simple and super cool but one more uh, uh, you can say homework or an assignment or a challenge uh, you can take from this video is i have put manually a uh, number here in the value field which is 30 which is 30 is my average from the data what if that the data changes frequently and uh, the average got changes so every time i have to calculate the average manually so what if that this value changes automatically when the data changes and my average automatically adjusts within the chart so this is your uh, kind of assignment or homework or a learning point you can take and you can write the solution in the comment area and um, i will post the the right answer after a few days of this video recording so thank you so much for watching this video in uh, and i will try my level best that more i i can expose more tips and tricks regarding power bi to you thank you so much